Hi guys, Paul here. And in the last video I made on the Tyrannus M9 gimbals, these are the ones with the hall sensors, there was some degree of confusion in regards to the stick height of the gimbals. Uh, Thomas made some remarks in regards to the way I had mine adjusted. Okay, thoughts? I really like them. Um, this, this one sits a little high for my liking, as in like the actual stick itself that comes with it. Yep. But um, aside from that, the actual um, resolution is a lot better. I think it's definitely better than the other sticks. The only thing that I would change for myself is I'd make these a little smaller, but that's, you can buy uh, aftermarket. That's right. I don't know, what do you call these? Um, I have no idea. I can't remember what they're called. Yeah. But yeah, you can buy aftermarket one of these. You see the people all the time with anodized ones and stuff like that. And I mean, Keep the in... actual, these actually feel better in the, like that's in the way they grip. It's more for me, for my little thumbs. It's just like, this is a little high, so I can't use the full range of stick. So at that stage, they were adjusted to the height that I wanted. So I, I have mine a little bit higher than Thomas's. And um, I don't think we were sure exactly how low we could take those. And we can take them quite low. So what you're looking at here is the original Tyrannus gimbals. And the way these guys were adjusted, the gimbal stick ends came in two halves. And you basically unlock it and either screw the bottom portion up or down and lock it back up again with the top and that was the way you actually adjusted the height on these gimbals and as you can see here i'm just screwing it back down again and lowering it back down to its minimum height so taking these gimbals off that's the uh threaded end that's an m3 size i'm pretty sure it's an m3 size because uh, the new m9 gimbals actually have a four mil shaft so keep that in mind if you are going to be buying a different stick ends for it so the way you actually adjust these is basically put a uh, allen key down the center section and that'll actually lock into a grub screw. Uh, you can undo that and then raise the height to whatever height you actually want. And once you're happy with the height, you can then actually lock the grub screw in and that'll basically uh, lock the position of uh, the gimbals. So these are still adjustable and i think in the last video we created some degree of confusion in regards to the adjustability of these gimbals they are adjustable just in a different way so there you go i've got one lowered to the minimum height just about i think um, and one up quite high so uh, that's the way you basically adjust these so since the last video what we've done is actually updated thomas's uh, tyrannus 2 and replaced the gimbals with these hall sensor gimbals and they're working quite fine and this weekend he finally raced with them uh, he got to do 10 races uh, and actually went through and actually won all of them. So uh, they felt really quite good. He was comfortable with them. Uh, the first day he flew with them, I think I put an Instagram video up of him flying with the gimbals on his Tyrannus with the stick heights adjusted to uh, his settings and he was really happy with it. So this video is just to hopefully alleviate some of the confusion around these. They are definitely adjustable, just they're adjustable in a different way. So anyway, look, I hope you found this video useful. I'll leave the video with that and I will catch you guys the next one.